She is the key to the gate. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the review and two of Agony, the first person survival horror game where you play as a cursed soul trying to survive the depths of hell. A word of warning though that this isn't a game for kids or those who faint at seeing their own blood. It's aimed for those with a little bit of a sick side who maybe enjoy dissecting the neighborhood cats or drinking blood from a goblet. Nonetheless, let's jump right into the review. But seriously, hide your kids. Agony is a simplistic first person survival horror game where fighting demons is not an option. This is a run and hide type of game. If you see a demon, you will most likely have to run like the miserable soul you are and hide in some deep hole that hell has to offer. And these holes might be in a wall of human flesh and bone or between piles of dead bodies. Whatever the hole may be, you're going to have to hide if you want to survive. The mechanics of this game are similar to other survival horror games such as Outlast or Hello Neighbor. But unlike those games in Agony, when you have your heart ripped out by a big boob vagina headed demon, you have an opportunity for a short amount of time to soul leap into another person's body. The soul leap enables the player to find some other sack of crap and take over their body to keep the player alive. However, take too much time floating around the nether and it's back to your last checkpoint. These checkpoints have to be manually activated but can only be returned to three times. Die more than that and you return to the previous found checkpoint towards the start of the game. Now if you're thinking this sounds like one hell of a game, you'd be right. And I'll admit, I was excited to jump headfirst into Agony's Hell. Unfortunately, Agony trips and falls in almost every aspect that makes any game worth playing. Graphically, it's hard to tell what exactly is going on in Agony. Everything has an oily, blurry texture and it can be hard to tell what you're looking at sometimes. There are some options to turn off some graphical effects which does help clear the game up, but the game just doesn't look good. It's also a very dark game, and it was difficult to find the perfect brightness adjustment. I found I had to keep changing it throughout my entire playthrough. The other issue is that all the levels look the same. It's hard to tell the difference between the dark maze on level 1 from the one on level 3. This just makes the game feel boring and monotonous to play through. The controls are clunky and sometimes unresponsive, such as in jumping, which can be an issue in some of the platforming sections which will lead to rage-inducing deaths. Which brings us to sound. The sound was game-breaking when I first played the game. The entire sound and agony, that is the music, sound effects, and dialogue were all glitched and sounded like a scratched record. The fix seemingly was to not download the day one update. However, I still encountered some sound bugs without the update, just not nearly as bad. So I rate games two ways. Out of a buy now, buy later, and never buy, this is a never buy. And out of a scale of 1 to 10, this is a 2. I always had a soft spot in my heart for games like this, but it took everything in my soul to complete this game. Agony's Hell is a horrific experience, but not for the reasons it was aiming for. It does have some sadistic adult and bizarre imagery, but these cannot overcome the muddy, outdated graphics, clunky controls, boring gameplay, and glitches galore. On top of that, for a game to be released with game-breaking bugs is unacceptable. So remember, if you like to review, maybe subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Till next time, keep on gaming.